I bought my iPad lately and I also bought a magic keyboard with it. So far I'm very happy with that. But I also want to get another option where I have to spend less money. So there are people who don't want to spend that much money on magic keyboard, but still they want a good quality keyboard. So then I found this one, Logitech Slim Folio. This is half the price of that keyboard, but is it really good? Let's see. After using Apple Keyboard for a week, when I got Slim Folio, my first impressions were not very good. First of all, it is not as slim as Magic Keyboard, and the iPad is hard to fit in this case. But once you place it in, it works just fine. Soon you get used to it. There is a very strong magnet on the base of the case above the keyboard where your iPad will sit. Although it looks flimsy, but trust me, it won't go anywhere. The bumpers on the corners of the case holds iPad very well. If we talk about protection, the iPad is much protected in this case as compared to Magic Keyboard. On the top there is a flap which helps to keep your Apple Pencil secure. Production wise, this is the best case. I think that is the main reason why it is that thick. Let's talk about keyboard itself. Coming from Magic Keyboard, you feel keys are somewhat mushy and they don't sound as satisfying as you hear with the Magic Keyboard. But after using for a while, I feel I like them more than Magic Keyboard, which was surprising for me. As we all know, Logitech is known for their good quality keyboards. I think this is the only keyboard case which is comparable with Magic Keyboard. Only thing missing is a trackpad, which is a great feature in Magic Keyboard. I'm using 12.9 iPad Pro, but if you're using 11 inch iPad Pro, then there is another option from Logitech itself with a trackpad called Logitech Touch Folio. Anyways, trackpad is the first thing you miss with this case, but soon you start using touch, it won't be any issue. Personally, I don't want to convert my iPad into a laptop. So I like the touch option. However, we should not forget that we are paying way less for this keyboard. Where Magic Keyboard you pay 429 Canadian dollar before taxes. And here just paying 169 Canadian dollars. This is a huge difference. It comes with a dedicated row of functions key, which is one of the best features I liked. It is so convenient to adjust the backlight, audio controls, volume controls and lock screen right from the keyboard. You can also do a battery check of the keyboard from it, although Logitech claims that battery lasts for 3 months. If you are on budget but still looking for a good keyboard case for a new iPad Pro, this is the best option so far. And you will save a lot of money. This is the main reason that I am keeping this Logitech keyboard and returning my Apple Magic keyboard. Point is that if you are looking for a best in class keyboard with the case, then there is no other option than Apple Magic Keyboard. But if you still need a keyboard and don't want to spend that much money, I think Logitech Folio Pro is the best option. So let me know what do you think about it. If you really want to go with it or if you have any other experience or you have questions about it, please do comment. If you like my channel, please share or subscribe. I'll see you with the next one.